Hey challengers, so Tara here and I wanted to tell you you did an amazing job yesterday. It was so cool to check in and see like everyone working out and I noticed that in the group feed you were really engaging with one another and motivating one another. When I was working out, trying working out at home and I kept saying it's just not for me, I I didn't realize that it what wasn't for me was that I didn't have that support, right? When you're at home there's no one there to know whether you did it or not or to cheer you on. Um, so once I got in these groups, oh my gosh, magic happened. So I hear so many people who get like a workout program and then it just, you know, gets forgotten in their house. And that's usually because they lacked the community that they needed in order to help them push through. So I'm really glad you guys are supporting one another, looking at each other's posts, because that's going to keep fueling you and keeping you going, right? So keep checking in, keep up that good work. Also, the other thing that happened yesterday is so many of you were amazing with cleaning out your pantry. It was great to see what you did. And it was so funny because some of you got so excited that you moved on to your refrigerator and you moved on to your freezer for some of you. Of you. And I was like, you're awesome. You kind of stole my thunder. Because that's what I was going to have you do today. So for those of you who did not clean out your refrigerator today, that's what we're going to tackle. Let me tell you a little bit about how we're going to tackle that refrigerator, okay? So one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they hide those fruits and vegetables in that crisper drawer. Well, the problem with that is it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So I want you to get some of those items right up in plain sight so that when you open up that fridge and you're looking for something to eat, there's, you know, some berries calling your name or some tomatoes calling your name or, you know, food that you've prepped, peppers, whatever, stuff that's right there ready for you. Okay. Um, also the other, and I will say I put like carrots and celery and apples, things I eat every day in my crisper drawer because I don't need a mental trigger to know to eat it just because I always eat that. So I put that hidden in a drawer. Think about your salad dressings. So for your salad dressings, are they really that necessary? If you look at the ingredients, check it out. You might find there's a lot of stuff in there. And I want you to start looking at labels. And the biggest mistake that we make in our society nowadays is we look at just the calorie label. Here's the problem with that. What has happened is so many companies have tried to lower the calorie to go with the hype of everyone trying to lower calories that they add a bunch of unhealthy ingredients in there. Those unhealthy ingredients are not fueling your body with nutrient dense foods. And likewise, your body is, is being put through quite a bit of strain to process some foods that it doesn't necessarily recognize. Okay, it pulls from organs, it does a lot of things that just don't need to happen. So I want you to instead look at the ingredients label on what you have. Can you recognize the ingredients? Now ingredients that even if you recognize them but you shouldn't have them are things like sugar, or refined flour. You know what refined means? Refined means that they stripped it so much to process it that they had to put a bunch of fake crap into it, okay, to put the nutrients back in. So that word refined, scary word. Try to avoid it. Instead, make your own salad dressings. If you look on Pinterest, type in like clean eating salad dressings. There's some amazing dressings out there. If you look on my website, Fit Baby Steps, just Google Fit Baby Steps chicken salad, there's an amazing creamy dressing that is fantastic. So there's different recipes out there where you can whip it up fast. I do like an easy balsamic, balsamic vinegar with olive oil and a little bit of pink salt and black pepper and maybe sometimes Dijon, shake it up, boom, you're good to go. Uh, get some good quality balsamic. Uh, go to a local olive oil place and taste a balsamic and find one that you like. I do pairings in Roseville. You can order that online. But again, I'm sure you can find one in your area that's just a good tasting, yummy one. All right. So the other thing is maybe you have a little bit of time to prep some foods. So perhaps tonight you guys prep, make a grilled chicken dinner for your family. Make double the batch. Keep it in your fridge so that you have some chicken already ready to go for you. So I am going to be boiling a little bit of penne and have a little bit of chicken. And then that way for lunches throughout the week, I can just heat up the chicken and the pasta and add a little bit of pesto and boom. I've, and I'm probably gonna add some, a little bit of vegetables and I've got myself a lunch. So think about, instead of feeling like you need to sit down and spend hours prepping, Think about how you can take what you're doing tonight, whatever your plan is, and say, you know, how can I double what I'm doing to save me time later in the week? With that being said, I posted to our group yesterday, and it's also in the file section of the group, a library of meal plans that my team creates and adds to consistently. So 
If you do future challenges, you'll get a document with even more meal plans on it. But for right now, this is a great library stuff. There's a grocery list. There's a meal prep document to help you. There's a meal plan broken out with everything by day. And there's a variety that you can choose from so you can pick what works for you. That's not mandatory, but I want to make sure that you knew that was an option for you. So anyway, you guys, keep up the great work. I want to see photos of your refrigerator today. So please share below what your refrigerator looks like when you're done. Let's, let's wow one another with those organization things. Okay, everyone, keep up the amazing work. Talk to you later.